It's not too early to start getting ready for bluebirds. Kent Heide from Wild Birds Unlimited is going to be talking about that this weekend at the Nashville Lawn and Garden Show. And he's here now with some ideas for attracting bluebirds to your backyard. You like to do that, and a lot of folks do. Exactly. And right now, bluebirds are starting to get very active just in the last few weeks with the snow and ice. People have really seen a lot of activity with the bluebirds because mm -hmm. it's very hard to find food when the snow cover and the ground's frozen right. since they're a fruit and insect eater. So a lot of people have been seeing them at bird baths. So a heated bird bath right now is very essential in attracting uh, lots of birds. You can do it simply with the little de-icers, inexpensive, the power of a night light is all it takes. And you'll be amazed on five times as many birds to your yard as a filled bird feeder with That's a, a great water trick. source. Good and, idea. and secondly, what bluebirds are really looking for right now is a cavity to nest in. In nature, they look for old woodpecker holes and old dead trees. Right. Uh, but most yards don't offer that. So we recommend man-made housing and they come in different shapes and styles. And there are options for like, instance, this little slotted box here is designed to help keep out English sparrows, which are a main competitor of bluebirds. Okay. But the key is location. Never put a bluebird box on a tree. They should be six to 15 feet out away from trees, hole facing the trees, so the babies can fledge up into vegetation. If the babies fledge out on the ground, 95% of the time they won't survive. Oh my. And they okay. can be located close to people, uh, close to your backyard outdoor living environment within 10 feet is recommended because humans do keep out predators and competitors. And that allows you to watch them too, Exactly, which is so fun. and that's the whole key of helping them is to enjoy watching so them. So once you attract them, then you want to feed them. Yes, and we don't recommend feeding bluebirds until you attract them at bird housing. It's a lot easier once you get their attention to start feeding them. This is one of the best feeders on the market. This is a dome feeder, which goes up and down, so you can regulate the size of bird. Okay. And you have a lot of times competition with blackbirds and robins and mockingbirds, and this will help keep them away. How about this? This is a unique uh, type of feeding sy system. It's called the cylinder feeders. And you can get these in all different types, from safflower, which squirrels dislike, to like this is called the bug and uh, nut blend, and it's perfect for bluebirds, wrens, mockingbirds, your woodpeckers, and I keep this out year around. It's amazing the bluebirds come right in and eat right at my feeding station along with the other birds. Cool, if you have a pole, you want a baffle to keep the squirrels and other Correctly. predators uh, away, the right? The biggest predator of bluebirds are black snakes and raccoons, and we highly recommend invest at $18 in a baffle and baffle your bluebird box for 100% success. All right, yep. you're gonna show us quickly how to build a yes. bluebird house, and uh, we can do that this weekend at the Lawn and Garden at Show. At this weekend at the seminar, you can uh, do the bluebird Bluebird House kits, and if you have interest in doing that, please contact us so we'll know how many to bring to the shop. But they're very simple to put together, and we will uh, assemble them at the seminar, or you guys can just take them home and assemble them. Kind of a make it and take it workshop, yep. huh? And they're, these uh, kits are actually uh, made locally by Mr. Tidwell and Madison. Nice. Uh, so it's a local product. That's and cool. it's something, it's a great project for young and old alike. Yeah. While you uh, finish that up, let me tell uh, folks about your lectures. Ken is one of the lecturers at the National Lawn and Garden Show this week. You can learn about hummingbirds Thursday at 2 p.m. And the bluebird lecture is Saturday at 3 p.m. Remember, you do need to reserve one of these ahead of time. We'll put that information on our website. All the lectures are free with paid admission to the Nashville Lawn and Garden Show. It's Thursday through Sunday at the Tennessee State Fairgrounds. Thanks so much. You're so welcome. All right, back with